Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the Wet n Wild highlighters and like one little eyeshadow palette from their collection. I'm gonna be honest, their spring collection didn't really wow me, but these highlighters and the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to show you was something I did like, but everything else I was just kind of like, ah. um, because I did buy the collection online because I just had to get my hands on these highlighters. My sister also helped me. I mean, we went, we're always in cahoots when it comes to makeup, so we paid half and half. So yeah, um, so I thought I would talk about these for y'all. So be sure to follow me on my socials and make sure to subscribe before you go. This is the sweetest bling and look at that, it is blingin'. And you can see right there that it actually is very metallic and this is just from the pink part. Like that is nice, yes. And then you've got the little white part in the center right here and you, you can also just look to make it either a little lighter or whatever i really like them the formula is great and without makeup like without foundation they can look a little glittery um but i find that true with a lot of highlights um but they're not too bad because these ones are more like shimmer based than they are glitter based like there's only a little bit of glitter in there which i really do appreciate and love because i hate glitters on my face but yeah, and then the next one was the one I was most excited for was Lilac to Reality. By the way, these retail for five bucks and you can find them at CVS. I could not find them at CVS, but I just ordered them online. They also sell them individually now. Anywho, this one is Lilac to Reality and it is the highlight that I am wearing on my cheeks right now. Look at that bling. That bling is telling you something. It's like, whoa. This highlighting powder is just really opaque. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Like, it's so freaking pigmented. Like, look at that. Whoa, whoa. And that was just like with the smallest swatch. Like, let me swatch. Let me swatch more. Whoa, yes, yes, yes. They also have like a little white shade in the center. This one looks a little bit more purple tinted, I'm assuming, to cut down that purple. Little shade is right there. Yes. Looks good, looks good. I like them together, I really do. I love it on my cheeks. I will go ahead and apply some more for y'all so you guys can see what it really looks like on the cheeks. All right. I mean, you can obviously see, but like, These are such good prices for what you're getting. I can even compare. Okay, so when I my thoughts first were like, wow, this kind of looks like Anastasia Moonchild. So the, that purple one right there is Lilac to Reality. And then you've got here, you've got Purple Horseshoe. All right, so as you can see, they're very similar. Then I'm going to swatch them. You see, they're very similar in comparison. So if you wanted to just go ahead and if you already have the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, then I don't think you need this. I mean, it's always nice to have because it is a cheaper option. So like if you ran out of Purple Horseshoe or something, you could just pick up this one. But I think they're very, very similar in the way that they look and in the way they perform. Um, I think the Anastasia Glow Kit is just a little bit less glittery. I would just say if you have one or the other, you don't need both. Um, I can always, I can also go ahead and compare the sweetest bling and pink heart, which is right there. <laughs> I'm gonna compare them. Pink heart is right here, and it's a pink heart is a little bit more whiter than this one. Anastasia's are a little bit more holographic than Wet n Wild's, but they're both really good and both pigmented. Like as you can see. This one right here up top, it's shining and beaming a lot brighter than the Anastasia one, but you can build up the Anastasia one. So they're both really good and both very comparable in color. Um, and formula is a little different, but I just thought I would show you guys options just in case you didn't have this, but you've always wanted it. Now there's a cheaper option. And then we've got the last thing in their collection, which is Will You Marina Me? And okay, seriously, Wet n Wild, come on. You guys are doing so good at so much, but these are not in anymore, okay? We're not in the 80s. I mean, so this, I really like this one. The other two weren't really my flavor. So, all over eyelid right there. Nice, nice. 
thing with Wet n Wild, like, see, that's it's pretty decent. I mean, this these are like three bucks, so. And then you got the crease shade, the brown. These color selection together, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know if I really like that together. Some people might love it together though, which is nice. And then this is supposed to go on your brow bone, but I don't know if I would put that on my brow bone. It's too gold. Um, but if you're deeper in complexion, then you might really like this one. But these like little color icons, I do like them, but I wish that they, like I wish this crease color was more matte. Like I don't wanna put a satin color in my crease all the time. And I would like to see like an actual eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild, so. But yeah, so that completes this review. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you have these highlights or if you have the Moonchild Glow Kit, if you have the collection. There's like these like lip cheek tints and I don't really personally like them. I don't like things on my cheeks and they're way too peachy. Like why would they come out with three different colors and they're all super peachy? Everything was kind of a miss for me except these highlights and that one um, eyeshadow, which was okay. It was decent. I mean, you're paying three bucks, but because that blue is really nice, so it makes it worth it. And then these are just makes the whole collection worth it, which is, I think, why they put it in a bundle so that you're forced to buy all the other stuff just to get these because that's totally what I did. And I will see y'all in my next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.